So it's time to add a couple of templates. And I want to start with the starting page because that's the first page we're seeing when we visit the site. And for this, I will add a templates folder in the blog app folder. Not a global templates folder, but instead in here in this app, because here I want to have these app specific templates. So for these specific views, which I'm registering. In there, you learned that the best practice is to repeat the app folder name. Hence, I have a blog folder in templates in blog. And then in there, we can add those app specific templates. For example, the index HTML file for the starting page. You can give this any name you want though. Now I also definitely want to use template inheritance later so that I have a base template from which my other templates can inherit. It's a very useful feature as you learned. And therefore I will also add a global templates folder in my root uh, project directory, so to say. We could also add it in my site if you prefer this. So in this project specific configuration folder, but I will add it here in my main project folder instead for the moment. In there, I will now add a base HTML file, which should hold my base skeleton. And in there, I will now use this uh, auto suggestion or this auto completion feature from VS Code again, type HTML and pick this HTML5 suggestion to get this default skeleton. And now we can build up on this skeleton by making it extensible. For this, I'll replace the title here with a block that's named title so that any templates inheriting from this template can plug in their own title. So here I'll have um, end block then. That's something we need like this. In the body, I definitely also wanna have a block, the let's say a content block, you could name it body as well. This name is entirely up to you, but I'll name it like this. And of course also have my end block tag in here. And um, we also might need an extra block here for injecting stylings from the inheriting templates. So here I'll add a block CSS files and also of course end that block so that templates inheriting from base HTML can actually inject, so to say, their own CSS file imports into the head section of this base template. Now we might need to add more, but for the moment, that's it. For the moment, this is looking fine. And therefore now in index HTML, I want to inherit from this base HTML file. So in here, we add the extends tag and inherit from base HTML like this. And as you learned, you can use a, a relative path here as well, if you wanted to, or use such a global identifier. But then you need to make sure that Django will also evaluate this global templates folder. And by default, it's not doing that. Therefore, we should go to settings PY and in there, we should make sure that in the templates area, in DERS, we add baster slash templates without a typo. Baster slash templates, which instructs Django to consider this global templates folder when it's parsing templates and when it's looking for templates. And without this addition, this extends statement would fail because such a base HTML file does not exist here in the app specific templates, which are included by default. And whilst it does exist here in the global templates folder, by default, that would be skipped because by default, Django is not looking for such a folder. That's why we need to add this entry. And whilst we're in the settings py file already, we also should adjust one other thing. To make sure that the app specific template folders are picked up, we need to make Django aware of this blog app. And it's not fully aware of it yet. Instead to make it aware, we have to go to the installed apps setting here and add the blog app there, like this. Otherwise, this templates folder in blog will also not be considered by Django because it's not considering this blog app as a whole. 
for URLs, that wasn't a problem because with include block URLs, we give it an exact path to the folder and file that needs to be considered. But for the automatic template detection, we never define such paths and therefore there we need to make sure that Django is aware of our apps. And now with that, we can save all of that and we got this index.html file, which extends the base template and Django should also be aware of all the templates now. And now we can therefore adjust this index.html template and for example, set some content for the title block. So the title of this document and here I'll say my blog because this will be the title of the starting page, the title which shows up in the browser tab, for example. We also have our content block, which we want to populate. And there, for the moment, to see that this works, I will simply add my blog like this and then add a h1 tag in there where I say, welcome to my blog. We're going to tweak this later. We're going to add more content. We're going to add styling, but for a start, this is fine. And therefore now, last but not least, I want to make sure that this index.html template is rendered if a user visits the starting page URL. So in views py in the starting page function, we now want to render this template. Now the render shortcut should already be imported. Django adds this import by default when it creates that views py file. And therefore all we got to do here is return render and then pass in the request. That request, which we receive automatically has to be passed into the render function as well. And as a second argument, well, point Django add your template. And for that, it will automatically look in the templates folder. So therefore to point at the index HTML file, which is in a blog subfolder, our path is blog index HTML. And that will instruct Django to render this index HTML template and return it for this view. So if you save all of that, if you visit localhost 8000, you should see welcome to my blog. And in case you're facing an error here, if something is not working as it should, attached you find a snapshot to this project as I have it here so that you can compare your code to mine and find out where you might have a small error, if you have a typo somewhere, something like this. With that, we have our first template set up and loaded. Now as a next step, before we work on posts and post detail, I want to continue working on that index.html template and I want to add more content to it and also give it some styling.